Alright guys, haven't filmed in a while. This time going to Washington, never been there. Alright, truck is prepared. Now it's winter season, so now waiting for the trailer. We'll see what's kicking on the road. Hopefully no snow now, because it's still November. We have chicken, <laughs> so it's chicken going to Seattle. All right, guys. First stop, Grand Island, Nebraska. There, the reefer. Good morning, fellas, from Ogden, Utah. Bus, my truck. Now doing a pre-trip, and we'll go to Idaho, through Idaho to Oregon. And then, finally, Washington. So today is a day. First time in my life we'll go to Washington. Damn, all day like this in Idaho. Damn, rain never stops in here. That's what you see on Interstate 84 in Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. What I liked about this interstate in Oregon that it's uh, not that crowded, but the speed limit is only 65 for trucks, so it could be a little bit faster. One more thing, official state scales. You're wasting your time going there. In my short career I can tell you this. You always have a little fear that you might get DOT inspection and they might put you out of service or write a ticket, so that's what you don't want. <laughs> okay guys, so that's Oregon and that's the end of this mountain passage. Let's see what's cooking next. That's a big factory. Okay guys, it's Pleasant Valley. Look at this. No snow. And in the distance, even higher mountains with snow. We'll see what's going on there. Never been there before, so interesting, really. So guys, that's Oregon. Flying G filled up some fuel. And finally, some sun so you can see better what's going on in here so it's about i don't know how many miles but around maybe 100 or something like that to washington okay we'll have some coffee and we'll roll again so it looks like northern california beautiful and you see some yellow trees and some creek on the right So as you can see, this serpentine road is very beautiful, but very dangerous as well. Very steep, very steep. All the time going down, I imagined if it's winter and how to drive in winter on such steep road.
For the first time in my life, Columbia River. It's not that wide as Mississippi in here, but still. And of course, it's Washington border. Oh, it's 5 a.m. in the morning and nothing to see. Um, I don't know if camera sees us, but there are a lot of flights and this is a viewpoint area. Hopefully I will return here during the day and we'll film. Now we'll do a pre-trip and we'll go. 5 a.m. Okay, I have to be there in three hours, so I don't have too much time. All right, my friends, I'm in Seattle. That's BNL trading. We'll see what's cooking. Hopefully I will get unloaded fast. And then probably, I don't know, but probably into Yakimai Go. Alright, so BNL trading. We're still closed. Not too much space I see, but I will handle it. Because these trucks are short. Short in length. Yeah. I like this place actually. It smells good. And a lot of colorful trees actually. Let's go there and look. Okay. So beautiful, not sunny today. Hopefully it will be later, but I will go somewhere to get loaded, so we'll leave this place. Yeah, beautiful. No trespassing, so not going there, but look at this color. Jesus Christ, I haven't seen such in Chicago. Whoa. Yeah, romantically, <laughs> it looks romantic. <laughs> wow, it smells good. Okay. So we we're opening at 9 a.m. actually, and now it's half past seven. So we'll eat and do something else. So got unloaded in about half hour, and now heading to Burlington, Washington, and it's still Renton, Washington, close to Seattle. Seattle. A little bit of traffic. And that's my friends, Interstate 5, going north. Alright, on the way to the pickup, Costco stopped here. Yeah, we'll go to do some shopping now. Bought some groceries and ate sushi and ice cream for the dinner. That's Burlington, Washington. Okay, got my trucks empty weight, so now going back to the pickup, we'll see if they will load me faster than four, because I need to go back here and weigh again. So that's the place, potato shed. Beautiful, picking up potatoes. <laughs> but something's wrong with uh, trailer brakes, so we'll see. That was fast, got loaded, now heading to scales, we'll see if the uh, weight is good. So the weight is good and uh, looking at this delightful view is very very relieving. So going back to Chicago. Whoa, look at that, good morning from Washington. <laughs> there is a truck stop called TA Close, never been here, yeah it looks wonderful. <laughs> Look at that mountain, wow. Okay, so that's a mountain range. <laughs> we'll see what's the name of it on Google, but look at that. What a view, what a view. It's just amazing Washington, I can't believe it. <laughs> Alright, so this one indeed has some some snow on its peak. It's beautiful. I'm not sure what I want to say, but this is the first time I'm in Washington seeing these mountains. It's just amazing. <laughs> 
Well, that's what you get here, magical, mystical view. at pretty high mountain in the distance you see probably pilot and I hop and then it's a mountain and it's snowy mountain so if I will come back in uh, one week or two weeks or three weeks probably will be the same on the road so that's very beautiful very beautiful state but very dangerous and in, in uh, this time November December yep so we'll go outside now all right, so that's Helensburg. That's got how it looks. Not too many people going to the park. We'll see what's happening there. Yeah, but it's fresh air. Yeah, really sunny today, and not that cold. Not summer anymore, but still not winter. So that's good. So completely alone. That's what they write. Skiing track and walkers down there. That's where I came from. All right, you see some snowy mountains. All right, so now let's go here. We'll see what's cooking. Hopefully, some scenic river walks or something like that. At least I saw something in pictures. All right. Okay, friends, that's the interstate, and that's on the bridge I go on the trail and trail leads uh, to some interesting places between two lakes all right guys and on the left yakima river look at that yakima river some mountains and of course me going along the trail hopefully more interesting views I don't know where when to turn back but yeah not too many people here and I don't know these places <laughs> I read that bears live in this place in this area so might be dangerous but still it's worth risking <laughs> some local art Yep, interesting place, interesting. More of arts or shaman's house, maybe. Well, 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 can't get enough of this. <laughs> the trail has ended, and look at this. Da da da, and that's the view. I like it. Small shops there and pilot truck stop is down there. So, yep, my uh, walking today is about to end. And that's Elg Heights Distillery. I don't know if it's still operating, but looks old to me. All right, so yeah, that's the trip. In five minutes, I will reach pilot and will rest until tomorrow. And tomorrow, we'll drive, we'll see what's back on the road because uh, yeah a lot of the road I covered it was dark so tomorrow will be the day and hopefully I will I will come back to Washington and Ellensburg I liked it <laughs> just two days ago slept here now going up the hill but still it's not visible how beautiful it is in here hopefully next time I will come back here during the daytime we'll see yes Vulcan that's Yakima and beautiful beautiful sunrise
got back in Oregon and on the same serpentine road. Beautiful views, but still wondering about winter. <laughs> I'm glad that I can see such beautiful mountains during the daytime. And Umatilla National Forest is close to this road, so really recommend going there. That's the same factory I was two days ago, a little bit different view. Alright my friends, so Oregon, Washington is over and it's still beautiful Idaho. So that's where I will end my video, hopefully you enjoy watching.